Yeah. It's your boy Gruff here, back with another video, and today. Uh, I got another video, guys, and today we're going to be talking about the battle review. We're going to be breaking down so you summon on Ultra Gogeta, right? And I'm going to break down everything. We're going to talk about, like, you know, the timing of this banner and the value. We're going to talk about, like, the top five units on here and, you know, talk about, like, how they are in the meta and everything. And then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on so you guys summon or not. So, big update that just happened and everything. So there's a lot of stuff to cover. So, this is one of the things that they dropped was Ultra Gogeta banner. I honestly thought they were going to drop, like, Ultra Vegito. But I knew there was going to be an Ultra banner that was coming out. I knew Ultra Bully wasn't going to drop. I feel like it's a little bit too early for him, even though he dropped in September. I feel like he might drop around December. But, like I said, we're going to break down his banner and everything. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So, five days left, right? If you take a look, it ends on November 22nd. I believe Legend Fest starts on the 25th. So, that means three days after this banner goes away, Legend Fest begins. Um, the timing on this banner, I just don't feel like from that, just from the timing of the banner, I don't even feel like it's even a good banner to summon on, bro. Like, Legends Fest is about to be here. Literally in three days after this banner goes away, you don't know what's going to drop there. You don't know how powerful these new units are. I just feel like even just the timing, you should have even summoned on this banner because, like, they're just, there's a big, like, the biggest celebration is about to happen. And you're going to summon all your Chronicles for this. Right, you know, even like just that alone, I don't even feel like you guys are summoning just because of the timing. Because like the fest is about to begin, you have you have no way of grinding CCs in in three in three days. No way, right? You could probably get a lot of chronicles during the anniversary, but you guys know that every single month they're gonna, they're going to drop something crazy, right? They're going to drop you know I don't know how many, we don't know if it's going to be a double dual banners, we don't know if it's going to be one banner, we don't know. They could drop a old, you don't know what they're going to drop the first, you know, for part one. Like, you know, we know it could, it's probably going to be GT, but we don't know what other stuff they can drop with it, right? So, that's something to take in and know. Now, let's look at the, let's look at the Z Power list. It's a little at the top five, top five units in here. So, first, we're going to start off with UI Sign Goku. UI Sign Goku right now is probably one of the worst LFs in the game. Him and Beerus. Him and Beerus, him and Beerus is probably at the bottom. Um, I would say LF Rose is is higher than them. I would say Goten is higher than them. I think he's like I think UI Sign Goku is probably might be the worst. You know, some people might say he is the worst. You know, of course he has some type of you know usability of Marvel Purple and his gaze and all that stuff. But once he gets hit, it's over. Like he's just not surviving, bro. So he's one of the worst Zen guys in the game. He has no value right now unless he gets a Zenkai. He needs a Zenkai. He needs a Zenkai. That's the only thing that's going to save him. Of course, a plat will be cool, but I feel like he's far from a plat. I feel like he needs a Zenkai. This guy right now has no value. This guy, you know, God Key is in it. USS is in it. Saiyans is a good, you know, Saiyans is a cool team, right? It's a cool team, but he has no value right now. I guess the only best team that he can be ran on is Sun Family with Beast Gohan and all that stuff. <coughs> as the purple unit but like i said this guy has no value um i feel like you might as well rock future han you might as well rock the new super saiyan 4 goku or somebody else if you don't want to rock future gohan instead of this guy just don't feel like it's worth it. so his value is absolutely trash corrupt uh fusion monsters god key is bad right now i mean yeah god key is down bad right now future is cool you know but i'd rather rock the droids over him because they just have more uh, value, value in terms of doing extra damage to Super Saiyan, so like Future Gohan and all that good stuff. Nullify Endurance against Future Gohan and Beast Han. And then what? PO, I ride Rock the Droids still. Regen is probably one of the worst tags in the game now. G GT is about to get some crazy buffs, so Regen right now is probably one of the worst, like, major, like, tags in the game. Um, and I just feel like CMD has no value. You know, Fusions, he's probably, you could say he's the best red, but. You don't want to rock a red anyways with Beast Gohan running around. So it was like, even if he is considered like the best red for, you know, fusions, right? Um, red is the worst color right now, unless you go type neutral. He can go type neutral off his green card. You can snipe Beast Gohan, but it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to do just to snipe 
be going to pop in the green card and then pop in your main ability to nullify them there. Then you got to hope RNG goes into your way for that to even happen and kill Beast Gohan. All that good stuff. And I just feel like he really doesn't have that much value right now. And like I said, I'd rather just use the droids to snipe Beast Gohan, right? So you have someone that can go type neutral and stay type, type advantage for the whole game. If you don't want to switch to 17, you can pop the green card, take away his advantage and rush. So there's a lot of ways. You know, I just don't feel like CMZ has no value at all. Gogeta Blue. Gogeta Blue right now uh, is uh, is trash too. He's someone that needs a Zenkai and a Black. Um, look at Fusion Warriors. You know, USB is just the better yellow. Um, God Key. God Key, in terms of yellow, I think Kyle King is the better yellow, but Kyle King doesn't flow on that team because he's strike based. I mean, he's black based. Uh, he is strike based as Gogeta Blue. But, you know, like I said, I still wouldn't even. <laughs> you know, he still doesn't, really, he's not, doesn't have that much value in then, then, then movie saga, right? Like, yeah, oh, my fault. Yeah, like, he can be ran with, um, he can be ran with, what's the name? He can be ran with Beast Gohan on movies, right? But I just don't feel like you should rock him, you know. Beast Gohan's best team right now is, is really hybrid, you know. Feature Gohan with the peer hybrids and then the support and the endurance and then the support that he, I mean, the extra healing that he does to the team and all that good stuff. I just feel like it's just better. And in terms of yellow for movies, I think what's the name is probably a better yellow, you could say. You could say Tapion just has more value and all that good stuff. And yellow's not really in a great spot either because everyone is rocking pan too. So it's like, you, know, you really don't want to rock it. You don't really want to bring a yellow like that unless you have like some type of support like Future Gohan or something. So this guy has absolutely no value as well. <laughs> I mean, all three of these units don't really have no value. They're probably at the burial being one of like some of the worst LFs right now and all that good stuff and Gogeta 4 now Gogeta 4 his value is actually not as bad compared to these other three because one he's a green does extra damage I mean can do extra damage to be going whenever we you know that slim chance he does do extra damage to, to blue units because he's always tight neutral sustain damage the whole game and tight neutral the whole game but um GT right Western just got a buff Goku 4, then I, don't, I hadn't really watched no videos yet. I don't know how good he is. I don't know how the meta is going to change around his Zenkai. But the fact that he can get protect, protected by him, him being a green, him being a yellow, that's actually really good. And he's an LL Zenkai. That's really nice. GT is getting a lot of buffs. So this guy's value is probably going to be really, really good. I'm not going to lie. They don't, they don't drop a new green GT unit. And he's going to be really solid. Uh, Fusion Warriors is kind of, you know, it's a cool team. He's still... The best green for Fusion Warriors and Sands. Um, Sands, you can rock different other greens like Dragon Fist and all them other green Sands. He's not really like the best green, but he is an option for Sands. So this guy is, is uh, his value is probably going to get it's probably going to go up a little bit just because of the GT update we're getting. And who knows for Legend Fest if we do get more GT members and they don't drop another a new green one, he can his value can go up even more. So I think. Out of all of the four LLs, Gogeta is the best one, and then these other ones are just absolutely garbage. And then Ultra Gogeta, Ultra Gogeta is not bad as well. Ultra Gogeta is still really good. He just beats Gohan, just power crept him, but he's still a good blue. He's still, I would say, he is definitely a top five unit because one, he is on movies, right? You can't rock him and Beast Gohan, both Beast Gohan together with Pan, right? You have someone that can lock you in, nullify endurance for 30 time times when you pop the old card. So he has ways of killing Beast Gohan. Uh, you catch them in the 30 time accounts and all that good stuff. Blast armor generates blue cards for Beast Gohan. If you pair them up together, Fusion Warriors, he's the best blue. Him and VB together, but I think Ultra Vegeta has it. Uh, this guy aged really well. He's still a really good unit. This Beast Gohan is way better, but this guy has a lot of you know good things in his kit. So I feel like Ultra Vegeta is not bad. And Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is not bad. But without seeing said, um, I still want to summon on this banner. This banner is going to probably be re-released later in Legends Festival. So once you guys see all the units that they drop and they drop this banner, um, you guys could probably summon. But right now, you shouldn't summon on no banners, no bait banners. No, there's no point because you don't know what's coming for Legends Fest. You might as well just not summon. You guys know this banner drops every single, like every single two months or something. This banner is going to come back, right? So you don't have Ultra Vegeta now. It's not going to be the last time you see this banner. They're going to drop this banner again, right? So just wait till Legends Fest. You don't know how valuable the banners are going to be and all that good stuff. You don't know how many sparkles we're going to get, how much Z power we're going to get per multi and all that. I mean, uh, 
per sparking. You don't know how much sparking drop rates are going to be increased. You don't know none of that stuff. So right now, don't summon on the banner. The banner is not it, especially for the timing. Say your Chrono Crystal for Legend Fest is about to be a crazy celebration anyway. So and like I said, if the banners suck for you, then just you know they're going to drop this banner back again. They're going to drop this banner back again. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, I'll subscribe, and my girls, man, I'm out.